to remind us how lucky we are to be in this beautiful place and to be able to try to keep it that way. We're going to play something now a little more cheerful mm -hmm. from our repertoire of greatest hits which no one has heard. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, again, a standard, I guess you'd say. But it's just so beautiful. It's also kind of slow, but this is one I, I first did at the Clearwater Festival a few years ago. After thinking about it for so long, I was in Greenwich Village. I had a place there for almost 40 years until the landlord decided to upgrade the block by throwing us all out. And uh, it was the summer of 1967. Some of you might remember that, or you can ask your parents, or your grandparents, what a great time we were having then. There might be differences of opinion, but it was an interesting, <laughs> interesting period. And at that point, the music industry, which we could like the Titanic, has now sunk to a well-deserved watery grave of too big, too fast, and not concerning the needs of the customers or anybody else. But at that time, everything was either put in the dumpster immediately or merchandised with the latest hip trend and then put in the dumpster the next year. So that was suddenly, the summer of love suddenly appeared and it was known as the summer of love. And I was with Richie Havens, who some of you may remember, a great singer, and the author, Jack Kerouac. And we were sitting around on McDougal Street, and Richie said, you know, he said, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. He said, we all lived together, hung out, and younger and older people hung out together in people's families, everywhere. Suddenly we're told the official brand for the summer is don't trust anybody over 30. And he said, man, he said, I'm over 30, I'm pretty trustworthy. And he said, Amram, you're just about 40. And Jack, you're way over 40. And all of us are pretty trustworthy. And he said, and suddenly, here's this beautiful song on the radio by someone over 70 named Louis Armstrong. Isn't it amazing that in the summer of love, something that unfashionable could become so popular and appreciated by everybody. So this is, he also said, I've never seen so many angry looking people because no one that summer of love knew exactly what they were supposed to wear in order to be fashionable. So this is his great song and it was Bruce Armstrong who reminded us all to stay in a beautiful place in our thinking and behavior. And it's nice to be able to do it here right in Hammond Plaza, where it's all happening. So it shows that it was, regardless of what we see on CNN or anything else, it was, is, and always will be a wonderful world. Trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and for you. And I think to myself, what wonderful world. I see skies of blue, clouds of white. Summer days and the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what wonderful world! The colors of the rainbow, so beauty in the sky, are also on the faces of the people walking by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? But what they're really saying is 
says, I love you. I hear babies cry. I watch them grow. They'll learn much more than I ought to know. And I think to myself, what wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself, what wonderful world. Theme song that the realtors forgot. 